guys welcome back to my channel um don't mind how i look i'm a hot mess i haven't taken a shower i'm doing my laundry first so i just dropped the kids off at school i'm drinking my coffee here so make sure you get yourself something to drink something to snack this is not very big um i wasn't even gonna do a haul but i'm wanting to put more videos out there more content for you guys so this is going to be a small collective haul and it's a 99 cent store and dollar tree so like i said grab a snack grab a cup of coffee grab whatever and we can get into this um i hope everybody had a great labor day weekend I am so exhausted. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, hubby and I finally got our kids bunk beds. So we had to disassemble Shannon's old bed. And then I store stuff underneath her bed because there's so much room under there. Um, I had like bags of clothes, you know, that I don't want to get rid of. Now that we know we're having a boy, I can get rid of all the girl clothes. So I went through all that stuff. I went through all my holiday stuff that was underneath there, not everything, and condensed it, knew what I wanted to get rid of, stuff that I knew I didn't use to decorate. There's no point in holding on to it unless it's something that I know that Deborah would want or my mom. My mom doesn't decorate. Um, so did that over the weekend, went through all the kids clothes in their dresser drawers because <clears throat> there was so much clothes in there that they couldn't wear anymore. And I've just been putting it off. It's one of those things that I hate doing. So we did that. We rearranged their room. They got bunk beds. They saw them last night, but we are exhausted because we had, to, we had to do all of that by ourselves, me and my husband. So like I said, we took apart her bed. I sat on the floor and I went through all the stuff that was underneath her bed and then I went through all the clothes. We went and picked up the bed and then we came home and put the bed together, the bunk beds. That was already a lot. And then we went off-roading yesterday. We left like at 4.30 in the morning and we had so much fun. We went with... Um, there was four of us, like four vehicles. So me and my husband, his really good friend and his girlfriend, and then another good friend of theirs and his wife. And then she invited her new girl, well, her girlfriend and her boyfriend because they got a new Bronco and we all went off-roading. It was so much fun. We were gone all day. Then we came home and had to finish doing the room because it wasn't ready for the kids like it was just a lot sorry I know I'm rambling but I'm excited I've been an emotional mess because my you know Leland he is no longer in a toddler bed um he technically wasn't even supposed to be in the toddler bed anymore but he's so short that he fits in it and he's not that heavy um but we took apart his bed too we're saving it because obviously we're gonna have another one um so my emotions and like, I'm just so exhausted. So if I look tired, I'm sorry, I am. I'm just, we had a really long weekend and I'm still not done. I still have more stuff to go through in their room to get ready for this baby. I'm trying to make room for his stuff. So just really decluttering everything, all the cupboards, everything. If it's something I'm not gonna use, I'm just gonna get rid of it. If I'm not gonna sell it, just gonna take it to Goodwill. So anyways, um, we did go to Walmart over the weekend. I don't have that stuff to show you, otherwise I would in, a, in this haul. We bought bins that fit underneath Shannon's bottom bed now because now that they're a bunk bed, she, you know, she had a lot of space for like boxes and stuff to fit under. Now she has like that much. So we bought bins that are long and has wheels and they're plastic. They're actually really cool. I wish I could show you. One of them is actually empty, so I could. And the lid has a, a divider. It looks like it's cracked open or like broken, but it's not. It's so that if you have something on one side of the bin and then you have something else over here, but say you need what's over here, you don't have to take the whole lid off. You can just bend it 
so it opens just like half the lid so we got four uh three of those um we bought the actual vacuum seal bags because you guys know i buy the ones from dollar tree those don't vacuum seal they just close um, so we got a bunch of, we got a big variety box of the vacuum seal bags and we bought the pump to go with it so that we could take the air out so that I put my holiday blankets in one and then I'm going to use the other big, very, very big one, um, for the baby's clothes because I'm saving all of Leland's stuff like the 4T, 2T, 3T, 5T. Obviously I don't need that stuff right now. He is going to need that, but not till next year. So we went to Walmart, did that. I did get a couple little things that weren't um, for the room. Ben got a Hot Wheel. My husband got a Hot Wheel. I got two more boxes of the Disney Dorables because they had them there. I got some Halloween Oreos and some new Sour Patch Kid candy that I was looking for. So there's no Walmart haul, but we did go over the weekend because um, we also needed to get uh, a light for their room where you can like, it's like wireless so you can click because where the bunk beds are it blocks the light switch so they were gonna have a hard time turning on and off their light so we bought like the universal switch that you can stick anywhere in the room and you just touch a button so we put we bought that also and put that in their room so anyways i'm rambling but i've missed you guys i've been wanting to do a haul so like i said this stuff there's really not a whole lot here um, we're gonna start with the 99 cent store. I'm actually really excited for a couple things. Let me show you the food first um, I got a box of this is a a big pack and I bought the wrong ones again if you guys remember I hauled a box like this from Walmart and they were the little Debbie oatmeal cream pies. They were freaking huge That's what these are. I thought this was a value size box it's not. So these are huge. Um, you get six big cakes in here. I thought it was like a bonus box, like family size, but it's okay. My husband will still eat them. The kids, I'll just make sure that they split one because this is way too big for them. Um, but they do love these. I love getting these during fall and Halloween season. They are just the fall party cakes. So I did get a box of those. And then my husband and I, I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys in a previous haul. I think I did. Um, we've been on like a ramen kick and we've been making it at home. My husband does not like this brand but I do. He doesn't like the thicker noodles. He likes the top ramen. So when we do ramen for dinner, I'll do one of these for myself and then I'll do two bags of this for him. Um, and then I do the same thing. I add the, he doesn't like it brothy. I do. Um, I'll do a soft boiled egg. I add green onion. I put a little cheese on top and I add a little bit of like milk or heavy cream just to moisten up the noodles a little bit. I do leave a little bit of the pasta water in there, but I don't leave like a lot like I do mine because I like the broth. That's my favorite part. So all we have is chicken of this top ramen. We have a big box from Costco and I know he likes beef. And sometimes when I'm sick, I want beef top ramen or cup of noodle or whatever. So I just got four little small packages um, so that way I have a variety and he doesn't always have to eat the chicken one. I mean, he wouldn't care, but I get sick of the same kind of pasta over and over and over again. And like, I think you would think he would, but I guess not. Um, I did have another one of these. It was different and I already used it cause we did have ramen one night. Um, when they say spicy, I don't add the spicy packet. I just add the powder and like if it comes with the vegetables or whatever. So all of these are, I think, spicy. And I'm not going to be adding, again, the spicy packet to that because I don't do spice. It's too hot for me. I might add a little bit, but I won't add the whole thing. 
So I got this one and this one is stir fry cheese ramen, which I've had this one and this one's really good. Um, and then I got two of this one. I don't know if my husband would have this one. I feel like he would because it doesn't look like this. The noodles kind of look like this. Um, and he does like a little bit of spice, so I would add, add like half the packet for him if he would like. This one is kimchi. This is buldak. Um, spicy chicken ramen, and it's stir-fried ramen, and it has naturally and artificially flavored kimchi in it. So I got two of those for him, just in case he wants to try them. If he doesn't want to... I'll use them, but like I said, I won't use the sauce packets because I can't do spice. It's too hot for me. And then I got one of the, um, this is like the original. So this one is with kimchi, but this one doesn't have it. This, But this is spicy. So I got one of those. Um, I do need to find like a asian japanese whatever it's called market to get the other brands because i've seen some with like creepy carbonara and there's like a bunch of flavors like you can get lime you can get four cheese it's called called four queso i want that one my 99 only had these ones so sometimes they have the other ones but sometimes they don't so i did get those oh i got two of the spicy stir fried ramen they also had the black bean one, but I didn't get that one. And then if you guys remembered when I did my uh, candy drawer, there wasn't a whole lot of lifesavers in the container. And now there's even less. So I just got one bag to fill it up a little bit more. Um, Cause this is the bag that I used. It's bigger than the ones from Dollar Tree. And this was $1.49, $1.29. So I got one more bag to fill the container. I'm just gonna put all this food food stuff back in this bag so I can just take it over to the pantry and put it away. <clears throat> and then last few things from the 99. I found this. I use a dish drying mat when I do my dishes. And sometimes it's really hard when I have a lot of stuff and I would like to use a dish drying, drying rack, an actual one, but it's, I wanted one that I didn't have to leave on my counter because I don't have a lot of counter space. And when I saw this one, I thought this was really cool. This is a collapse, collapsible dish rack. So once everything is done drying and I put all the dishes away, I can collapse this and stick it in the cupboard underneath um, where I keep my dish drying mats. I can just slide this right there and it'll fit. It was only $3.99, but it has the compartment where you can put your silverware and then you just push this down. As you can see right here, I haven't opened it yet. I do need to do the dishes, but I have to wait till after my laundry. So I am gonna open this and use it and I will let you guys know in my next video how, how well it stands up. I'm pretty sure that it'll be fine. Um, but it's really nice hard plastic. And then this is like silicone. And then it has silicone right here on the bottom. So they had another color and I don't remember what it was, but I just got this one. And I, like I said, I'm excited to try that to see how that does. Cause I get tired of using a dish drying mat and having to lay everything. And then sometimes when we use real plates, they fall over or I just have to dry them right after I wash them and put them away. And sometimes you don't want to do that. So. It's just because I don't have a lot of counter space. I did have a dish drying rack when we first moved here, but it would have to sit on the counter 24 seven. And I don't like that because I already don't have a lot of room. Um, especially if I need my crock pot out, I put it right there. Or if I'm cooking dinner, I cook vegetables on one side and then, you know, next to the stove. I have a really small kitchen, so. Um, but I found this and I fell in love with it. I'm gonna use this for the baby, obviously. It's a baby carry caddy, store and organize baby essentials. It has pockets all the way around it. So I most likely will change him out here or in my room or wherever, but it has a handle. 
and you can put all the diapers in here you know his cream baby powder um the little nose booger sucker thing any little things that you need in the middle of the night or when you're changing the baby or even extra medicine so that way you don't have to get up this is going to come in handy and i love that it was gray because that's the baby's theme color and it was only 2 dollars so I did get this for the baby stuff um, to keep it, all his di diapers, especially if I'm out here. It'll all be contained in one little thing. Obviously, he'll have his diaper bag, but that'll be for when we go out and stuff. So I'll use this while we're home. So I was really excited to find that. And then the last thing I got from the 99 is Halloween. And I fell in love with these. They're just decor pieces, and I got all three that they had. They're not ceramic. They're like a plastic, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's not ceramic, it's not heavy, but it's not plastic to where you can, like, break it either. But they're really cute. This one says Witch Hazel, and it has a spider and a spider web, the little black top. So they're just little plastic or whatever you want to call it, potion bottles, decor piece. And then this one says wing of bat and it has two skeleton hands on it. And they were each $1.99. So I got these two. And then this one says snake venom and I fell in love with this one. I saw this one first and then I saw the rest and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna get all three. You know, for Halloween, I collect potion bottles. That's my thing. Um, my husband loves them too. So I try to collect all of them that I can. Um, so I just got three. That was, These were the only three that I saw. So I don't know if there are any more. I don't think so. But this one was my favorite. So I got all three of those. And that's it from the 99 cent store. Like I said, this was not a very big haul, you guys. Um, Dollar Tree is even smaller. I went on Saturday by myself real quick. I got a loaf pan. I was going to make pumpkin bread and I didn't even get a chance to do that because we got busy with their bedroom. So I didn't even do that. Um, so I might do that tomorrow or the next day. I've been craving pumpkin bread. I want to make some. So I got a loaf pan, just one of the little tin ones from Dollar Tree. That was my reasoning for going and I just got a little bit of stuff, not a whole lot. I did need a couple grocery items as well. I'm completely out of rice. So I got, oh, I only have one of these in my pantry and I have a recipe that calls for two bags. So, and if we don't use it for that recipe and I decide to use the chicken ones, then that's fine. I'll at least have these, but I only had one and I was going to make something that I saw on TikTok, but you needed two bags and I only had one chicken and one cheddar broccoli. So I was like, well, I'm not going to do that now. So I picked up one more cheddar broccoli and I, like I said, I only have one chicken. So, and this one we eat more than the cheddar broccoli. So I picked up four bags of the chicken rice. My my son loves this rice. Shannon is starting to come around and eat a little bit of it now. Um, but I use this as a side all the time. So we go through rice like crazy in this house. I also found these. These were on my wish list. They are the club crackers. You get six on the go packs. And then this was also on my wish list. I haul all the kinds that they come out with for every holiday. Um, this one is pumpkin spice. I only got one because I'm the only one that likes pumpkin spice. My husband doesn't. He doesn't, he didn't like the, he wouldn't try the candy corn. So he does like the peppermint one for uh, Christmas and he likes the sugar or the snickerdoodle one. He liked that one. Um, the uh, The birthday cake, the chocolate drizzle. He loved all of those. But this one is for me, so I only got one bag to try. And then I got four jerky sticks, the ones that I always get. These are the pepperoni. 
because me and the kids and the hubby like those. And then I found the other sauce that I was talking about. The other one is really good. This one is sriracha chili. So this one's gonna be hotter, but I got it for my husband. So that way he can add a little bit of this and a little bit of the other one if he wants to his ramen when I make it for dinner. Um, the other one we use more when we have egg rolls or uh, pot stickers or any dumplings, anything like that that doesn't come with a sauce packet, we'll use the other one. He did use it in his ramen the other night when I made it, but he said it gave it kind of like a sweet flavor because it's sweet chili. So maybe he'll like this one better. And this one, like I said, has sriracha in it. So I did get that for him. And then I did get two more bags. I got one more bag of candy corn and one more bag of pumpkins. I do eat the pumpkins more than the candy corn. I just really like using candy corn in jars for decoration. I do eat it, but the pumpkins are my favorite. And I might save some of these bags. I did want to get one more so that way I can do it in my drawer. Um, do pumpkins in one, candy corn in another. Even if I have candy corn and pumpkins in some jars around my living room or, or my kitchen, I can still put this in the candy drawer for fall. So that's why I got two more of those. I got one more of these. Um, I only have, I only hauled one. I hauled the orange one and it's sitting over there on my table. I do need to do a house tour. Um, this one I am going to be doing a DIY with for Christmas. So the bow fell off, but I was gonna take it off anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I wanted to get the white one so it was easier to cover up and paint. So this is not gonna stay this way. It's gonna be a Christmas DIY. So I will save that for Christmas time and I will film and show you guys that. Super excited for that. I found the cute little tea light candles that look like pumpkins. I got two, three packs of those to put around my house. I fell in love. They also had the leaf, the maple leaves, but I just wanted the pumpkins. And then you guys know we do use paper plates in this house. Again, because I have to do the dishes every day and hadn't wash them, we don't have a dishwasher. And I do like using fall themed or holiday themed plates for the kids, for their lunches, even for dinner. You get 18. I might be holding on to these though because I don't know if we're hosting Thanksgiving. Leland's birthday is on Thanksgiving this year, which sucks. Um, so I don't know if we're having a birthday party or if we're doing Thanksgiving. And if we're doing Thanksgiving, I'll save these for Thanksgiving. I can always pick up more. Um, but I don't care if the kids use these now. I Like I said, I, if we do host, I'll pick up better ones and more and I'll get napkins too. So that way we don't have to do a ton of dishes. But I'm supposed to be hosting Thanksgiving this year, but I don't know for sure. So... That is it, you guys. Oh, there's one more thing. Never mind. One last thing. Sorry. I finally found this. This was on my wish list. They did have the refill of just the little thing that comes up here. It says it comes with two concentrated pods. Uh, quick and easy cleanup for shower and tub. Makes two 26 ounce bottles. So has two little pouches up here in the top box. So I'll save the bottle and then when I run out of the stuff, I can just go to the, go back to DT and pick up the, just the extra pouches. So yeah, there's two in there. So you just pour that and then add your water. <clears throat> Has the instructions right there. So I did want to get one of those. Um, so I could clean my shower with this. So I was really excited to find that finally. But that is it for this haul. Like I said, it wasn't very big, you guys. I wasn't even gonna share it, but I did wanna show you that cool collapsible dish rack and the little diaper caddy organizer thing for the baby. Um, and I've missed you guys. Like I said, I 
I, I'm pretty sure I'm all caught up on my videos now. I did go to Hobby Lobby on Thursday or Friday with Deborah, and I really didn't get a whole lot. Um, I mainly went for paper for when I do my journaling scrapbook notebook. Um, I, I needed more colored paper for that. So I mainly, that's mainly why I went, but I did get a cu couple of other things, but not enough to do a haul. I did get some more coasters and this is what they look like. They were on clearance in the fall decor aisle. Um, it came in a four pack. So I have two on this table and two over there and they all have something different. This one says, I love fall most of all grateful and then thankful and blessed her over there so it was a four pack and they're like that fake wood and then it has the cork in the middle so I fell in love with those that was also another reason why I wanted to go I was gonna look and see if they had more coasters because I only have two and I didn't have any for the coffee table and the kids like using coasters too but anyways there might be some more hauls coming soon um, I never did my DIY and I already did it so it's already hanging up on my front door. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to film that for you guys. Um, I can always link when I do my fall house tour. I can link the lady that I watch do it. And then that way if you want to know how to do it. It was really easy. Um, but if you want the link I can send it to you guys. She, uh, I don't think she has a YouTube channel though. It, it's, it's on Facebook. But I can still send it to you guys. And I'll show you the wreath when I do my house tour. Um, and I can s explain a little bit more of how I did it. But like I said, it was really easy. I just wrapped burlap on the inner two rings of the wreath form. Hot glued Spanish moss. Hot glued the pumpkins down. And then zip tied the top wreath form back on. And then I just made a little messy bow. And that was it. That's all I did. So it was really easy. Um... But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I would love to be part of my YouTube family if you're not already. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.